What's up, YouTube? Tenchi Arizona, the angry Dracolope of the Jackalope crew here. And today's video is actually a follow up from some discussions I had with a couple of fellow YouTubers, Wingman115 and Nutjob with a Machete. You'll find links to their channels in the description of this video and also in a pinned comment. So, on to the topic of this video. Now, what I wanted to do on my channel is add some new cut tests, so I've had to get a few supplies. And uh, Wingman115 and Nutjob with a Machete already know about this because I was discussing this topic with them earlier this week. Now, the first supply I had to get, or first piece of the supplies I had to get, was some meat hooks. Yes, that's right, I intend to add some cut tests with meat to my channel, so I had to get some meat hooks. This is just one, I had to buy a pack of five, because that was the only way I could find them on Amazon. The nearest thing to a meat hook I could actually buy from a store near me was just a S hook with ball bearing ends, which is used for like hanging pots. No good, and they were also zinc plated, so I did not feel that it would have been safe to modify them by using my Dremel to put a point on them and then using them on meat which I intend to cook after the tests. So instead I paid a little more and got a pack of five meat hooks. Now these are advertised as four inch meat hooks. I'm not exactly sure if a meat hook is measured from crook to crook or point to point so I will do both measurements. As I said, these were advertised as four inch meat hooks, and if a meat hook is indeed measured crook to crook, then these are actually five inches. If, however, a meat hook is measured from point to point, uh, excuse me here, then yeah, if they're measured point to point, they are indeed four inches. Uh, nut job. You've used meat hooks before because you do do some tests with meat on your channel, so you'll be able to clarify that for me. Are meat hooks measured from point to point or from crook to crook? Because I honestly don't know. Anyway, that's the first thing I had to get to enable me to do these tests, the first piece of supply I had to get, piece of equipment, should I say. So one of the first supplies I had to get was some meat hooks. Now at the same time, as I ordered the meat hooks, I actually ordered something else because another YouTuber, a smaller one, the Alchemical Gamer slash Alchemical Jackalope and me were having a discussion about backdrops and green screen. So the other piece of equipment I got, and I'm not going to get it out of its pouch because I think it'd be a bit of a pain in the ass to get back in and I'll have to deal with that when I use it is a three meter by three meter, that's 10 foot by 10 foot hammock tarp. And I thought this would be good for a backdrop for doing cut tests, as well as potentially having use as a green screen. Will OD green key out as cleanly as the bright green that green screens actually use? I do not know, but thankfully my editing software will allow me to tweak the similarity settings so I can completely, hopefully, key out the green that this tarp is. Should be roughly the same green as the bag is made out of, so an OD green. Don't know if that's going to work, but I'm going to test it out in the future. But first and foremost, this is going to be used in some of the meat cut tests that I am planning. Now, for the time being, all I have is a piece of pork fillet. So let me tell you guys, these meat hooks for pork fillet are completely fucking overkill. I could have actually done with something half a size, but this is the smallest and cheapest I could find on Amazon. Likewise, the tarp came from Amazon. Now, I do still have to go out today to get some stuff. I'm going to go down to my local hardware store and get some bamboo stakes, the kind you use in your garden, to make up a frame for the tarp to hang on. And hopefully I'll be able to jerry-rig something and get a video out this weekend involving a cut test with meat. 
I am going to tell you one of the first candidates is going to be the Kershaw Shuffle. People say that because it is a small blade and it is a cheap blade that it is crap. I intend to prove otherwise. Anyway, that's pretty much this update for now. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and Wingman and Nutjob and also Alchemical Gamer. If you see this video, let me know what you think. Hopefully I'll have the meat cut test out, the first one, hopefully tomorrow or Sunday. Anyway, that's all for now. If you like it, like it, please subscribe, comment and share. And remember, be good to each other. I'm a Dracolope bitch.